Hello guys, it's me Gluff back again here with another video. Today on May 18th, 2021 of course, we have the update 1.6 and the update don't have a name on the blog post, but yeah. Decker posted a blog uh, post on their blog and it's about the new update that will add two new drop locations or two uh, new SD sets to drop locations in game and the notification log and some other changes. Decker says, this update brings new drop locations for the Nordic Knight set, Cuboid Necromancer set. There are also many bug fixes, some of which you have been requesting, like the ability to hide projectiles from allies. We are also making some visual changes and refactoring some bullet animations and even added a new splash screen. Here are the latest changes to your favorite game. If you want to play your favorite game, sometimes you need gold if you want to look cool. If you want some free gold, check out my 4000 gold giveaway down in the description as always and it ends in about one and a half weeks so be sure to enter it down below and you can follow the instructions in that video. Let's go into the changes. We have the notification log. You can now access the last notifications in your interface. Click the small arrow below your profile and a list of the last notifications will display. I really like this change and it means that you can scroll up the notifications as you can scroll up in the chat. So if you missed something, if you are focused, let's say Celestial in Oryx and many people die and then uh, the no notification just passed by and you have to be focused on dodging. You maybe want to see later who died and what grave they had or what key someone popped. So I think this is a great change and I when I felt I felt like the notification system were kind of fast uh, before and this is a great way to look back on what uh, notifications you got. I really like this change. On the rebalance update they postponed the robot of the mad scientist and you could see the loophole with using an ability and getting 20 or 25 MP every ability use and that could mean that you could just insta spam or uh, just spam your tier 0 abilities forever but they've changed it now it has 12 defense 7 vitality 7 wisdom that's pretty strong but the discount is 25% MP on ability use so this is very interesting and it 25% is a pretty good deal. If you have a, an ability, let's say 120%, that's 30, I don't know maths at the moment, but yeah, that's 30 MP um, off every time and in the long run, that's pretty much. Unfortunately, uh, the robe doesn't have any attacks, so you are lacking attack or other uh, stats like HP, which you would get from the dumb robe uh, or the Lecorix robe you would get attack uh, on ability use, but I like it and it makes it a little bit special. So the huge news to this update is probably the Nordic Knight set and the Cuboid Necromancer set. The, these sets have now drop locations and it's been like two months since they released the set. So we have finally have drop locations for each set. Going over Nordic Knight set, we have the Axe, I uh, don't see the name here on the blog post, but we have the axe. It drops from Espen the Unwilling, so that's pretty cool in Ice Cave. We have the shield, drops from Creepy Weird Dark Spirit, Mirror Image Monster, both variants. I think that's the things that surround Espen. Uh, then the armor drops from Iceon and Lysico, so I think these are the ones you have to clear in the Ice Cave. And the Gjallar Horn, you know, I love Gjallar Horn. The Galar Horn drops from Snow Bat Mama and Big Yeti. And I think those are also in the like clearing section. So now there's actually a reason to clear. And I like this. It's like Ocean Trench. They added the speedy uh, wizard set. And they have some drop locations on the way to the boss. So that's a great way to actually uh, I get people to clear a dungeon and it makes ice cave viable if you want this set. I will play some ice caves. I probably have some keys. I will pop them in Nexus or something. But I'm going to try to get this set and I really like the ice cave drop location because that means that the ice cave have some use. The cuboid necromancer set drops from the third dimension as we thought or we thought and the staff drops from the tesseract goddess and the boss. Uh, the shadow cloak cube blaster the ability drops from no 
uh, the ability drops from Shadow Coup Blaster. Sorry, there's no pictures here at the moment for the ability robe and ring, so I kind of mis mixed up that. The robe drops from the Masquerader, and I think that is the treasure room, the one that turns into different shapes and makes it the tier room more viable, I guess. And the ring actually drops from Lemon the Sprite Goddess. I like that they changed that, like not everything in one dungeon. And this brings some light to Sprite World now. So I like the uh, addition of the ring to Sprite World. And that could mean early on a PP you could get the ring, which is pretty cool. I like the ring. They also said Cuboid, Necromancer and Nordic Knight as the items will now drop from Mystery SD chest, replacing the older set for each of the classes. They will be updated in their respective quest chest with the next release. That's pretty nice and I like that. Bug fixes. Fix the bug on Orcs 3 in which in rare instances it could not produce a portal. That is a known problem at least when we, me and my friends have done speedruns. Sometimes the portal won't appear. Oh no portals. Oh yes it is a <laughs> It's a portal bug again. Nice. I haven't seen that in a long time. Fix the problem in Bottle Midocean that affected its fire rate. Fix the bug that caused players' ability projectiles to be visible despite hide projectiles hide all being selected for allied shot. So this is well like the most well known bug at the moment that you can see other people spell and I really like this change. Or the fix. It's pretty fast. For being deck at least. They corrected the bug that caused the visual duplicate potion to appear when dragging any potion from the quick slot to the inventory. Fixed the bug that rendered the user unable to shoot at 45 degrees in some situations. They've also made some other changes, you can see them here on the screen. I won't go over them all, but I would say the no most notable one is the blueprints now all drop in golden bags instead of sign bags. But I'm not sure if it, they did, I think they dropped in blue bags. But they're at, at least now dropping golden bags. So if you get a golden bag, you better look at what's in it. But that's everything for today. I I like this change. I really wanted, or I looked forward to getting the Knight Nordic Knight set, and I they delivered here in the ice cave. So I'm gonna run some ice caves right now. So I'll be ending the video here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, do that. Like the video, please do that. And. I have a member function on my channel if you want some cool perks here on YouTube and on my Discord server. And if you bought a tier of the member uh, function, just write to me on Discord and I'll fix all the tiers in Discord and whatever. But that's everything for today guys, I'll see you guys later, bye bye.